Hello everyone, how y'all doing? I uh, hope y'all are doing good. I just did like a makeup video, like a makeup chit chat pretty much. I was pretty much done, but then I looked at the look and it looked like trash. So we're going to do this all over again. But yeah, I'm here because I wanted to do like a little makeup video and also because I really, really, really want to do a little chit chat because we got some stuff to talk about with this channel my content has been all over the place lately literally I just need to find my niche to see what I'm good at I know that like based on my analytics my most I guess like the, the video that I gained the most views in a week was a story time like a juicy story time but I'm not finna spill on my tea yet guys that's not good come on now can't be putting myself all the way out there on the internet like for real let me show my hobbies and my skills you know isn't that like what youtube's for well besides vlogging for real i'm gonna mo get more of this orange from the morphe palette But yeah, from the Morphe 35W palette. Friday, I ordered the Morphe 35 Oats Who palette. I cannot wait till it comes in because I have been like craving for that palette. Not craving, but you know, just wanting it, desiring it. Because when I finished, actually, when I finished ordering this palette, I think it was last year. Yeah, last year, I noticed the 35 O palette and I was like, that's more of my style. They're like way more browns and neutrals in it. But the 3502 palette is like, you know, a step up from the 350 palette. Like, definitely. It's like the perfect fall um, palette. And because of global warming, fall is pretty much going to get extended. So, it barely be snowing. I think it snowed only like once last... Actually, it snowed more last year than it did the year before because i remember the year before like the winter before it snowed only once and i remember it pretty much being spring in december in jersey that was wild but yeah so like spring early fall or, or early fall oh my god did you guys watch the soul train awards last night like that was so in oh my gosh i loved it and it was so inspiring for me and the vision oh my Divisa, i didn't even know division was gonna be out there I really didn't know until like it was about 7.53 I was going through Instagram and they posted pretty much they just post posted a, a post on Instagram of themselves like on the right carpet talking about oh we're gonna be on the BET award well the Soul Trade Awards on BET tonight and I was like I plugged in my TV and I had I had to watch it not just for them but like Daniel Caesar was there too. And then it was like around that time when I was on Instagram, I noticed that Daniel Caesar was also going to be on there. Oh my gosh, I was like so happy. But yeah, I was happy to see them uh, perform and everything, make their little appearances. It was like a great show. And that just like really inspired me because after this video, me doing this little makeup, I'm going to. Yo, they sing mood. <laughs> Daniel Daly's uh, falsetto is so beautiful. Oh, my God. I really want to see them in February because they're going to be in New York City. I don't know. I think I'm going to get tickets for that show. I've never really been to, like, a legit concert before, actually. So, this should be interesting. I want to go. Like, I really do. I watched, like, a YouTube video of them singing. Well, of him singing what you call it because honestly it's a duo but it's like i only saw the singer uh of division actually perform because the other dude he's just a producer honestly so he's just like playing the tracks i guess he could i feel like he could have been on stage too to be like kind of like a hype man but i just saw a youtube video of them performing last night and it was of them perform well of him of daniel performing what you call it too deep that's like my favorite division song. I I think so. I think it is. Uh, I love claim too. I love claim 
too deep with me hallucinations oh my gosh i'm like a fan because i just found out about them it was nice to see it was like really a 90s edition of soul train of the soul train awards like there were so many 90s artists performing there was 112 oh no it was an escape it was swv it was only those two actually that performed but Belle Biv DeVoe, like, uh, whatchamacallit, they got two new awards. They, uh, whatchamacallit, I was actually on Twitter, I'm barely on Twitter. I'm usually on Twitter when, like, I'm super active on Twitter whenever there's, like, an award show. Or, like, tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I'm probably gonna be on Twitter, um, interacting with everyone. And, you know, it's, like, really fun talking to, like, you know, just talking, being, like, talking about the same topic and... Um, like on this explore page or whatever and you know it's like you guys are watching stuff together and you're reacting about stuff and it's like it's like everyone's in the living room with you talking about the same thing it's like so cool on twitter it's really cool like i've been sleeping on twitter like that's really what i use twitter for like i'm not really active if there's nothing going on honestly but my twitter was lit last night I was like low key Twitter famous, so y'all can follow me on Twitter. Y'all can catch me when I guess the Victoria's Secret fashion show is gonna be on tomorrow night. I think it's gonna be on tomorrow night. Yeah, I don't remember which channel. I think CBS, right? Something like that for the Shanghai fashion show, Victoria's Secret fashion show. I really like watching the fashion shows, but Harry Styles is gonna be performing, and it's like I don't watch the Harry Styles. I don't. That's that's not my that's not my style. I'm more of a Zane. Huh. We'll see though. I'll see how. Because I haven't heard any of his new music yet. I listened to like a little bit of Niall's new album. But it was like a little bit. But whatever. But yeah. That's the Soul Oh my god. The Soul Cypher. The Soul Cypher was like the best part of the Soul Trade Awards. And it's crazy. I did not recognize Mally Me. <laughs> I did not recognize Mally Music, and it's crazy. Like, Mally Music is really trying to be an R&B singer now. Like, I think he's really going to transition from gospel to R&B. But, yeah, Daniel was performing with Kirk Franklin, Lettucey, and somebody else. I don't know who that other lady was. Man, I'm like, my mind's going everywhere. But, okay, let me talk, finish talking about this whole cypher. It was Mally Music, Fantasia, and Kiki Wyatt. I forgot that Kiki Wyatt was, was from Newark. Like, oh, my God. As a county stand up, what's up? Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot I was hype because it said Newark, New Jersey. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah. Because I'm like, I'm from that area. But yeah. I forgot that she was from there. Like, oh my gosh. Like, there's so many, so much talent in Jersey. But I'll talk about that later. But anyways, let me stick to one topic for now. The Soul Cypher was amazing. Fantasia and Kiki Wyatt, they killed. Oh, there was this other dude named Bali or something from Philadelphia. He was good too. But. Oh my, I didn't even recognize it was Molly Music. I recognized it by his voice. I was like, this dude sounds like Molly Music. And that's really what I said on Twitter. And the B, what are the BT networks? Because there are so many branch networks of, or branch channels, I guess, from BT. It was BT Her that replied to my comment, well, tweet, and was like, it is. It's, it, it is. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Let me stop. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not all that. <laughs> I was hype. I was like, really? Y'all noticing me? Y'all noticed my comment. But at the same time, I was a little embarrassed. Like, I should know it was Molly Music. But at the same time, the reason why I really didn't know was like, they were doing, he was doing the Soul Cypher. And when he was introduced, they put his name. But it wasn't like Molly Music. They said something else. Something with an S. Like Sammy or something. Like, it was something weird. So maybe he changed his pen name too. I don't... Uh. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't remember it saying Molly Music On the bottom left hand corner I don't remember it saying Oh that was Molly Music I remember seeing a whole different name So maybe he changed his name too But he might as well Because it looked like he gonna try to do some R&B now Because he, he collaborated Well his last album was like there was, he did a lot of features with R&B artists like Jasmine Sullivan and he worked on Janae Aiko's project and actually did a song with her but he did a song she did a song for his project too like a year or two ago but <clears throat> I mean 
mean, it's it's cool or whatever. You can maybe he'll do both gospel and R and B. Although you shouldn't do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Because it's not like he gave Jesus a shout a shout out in his soul cipher. So we'll see how this looks. me for like doing all those tags and challenges and reactions i did not mean to do all that with my channel within these past two weeks like because i did like i did do like a makeup like a beauty video a week ago but it ended up being trash well actually no it didn't it actually looked decent one eye looked better than the other i remember that that was like a halo eye it wasn't that bad it really wasn't the thing was is that um, the lighting was like weird when it came time for me to do my intro and outro when I was pretty much done with my whole face and when I wanted to take my outtakes like pretty much take photos for my thumbnails like the photos looked trash so I was like F everything <laughs> and then I recorded a video tried doing like an, pretty much doing another attempt at a Halo Y video Saturday that would no that was trash I mean, I would use a whatchamacallit. They're super duper duper cute. I feel like that's my first time using it. I think that's like a foily. I think that's really cute. I'm back and the rest of my face is done. I feel like this wig is too much for me now. Oh, okay, this is the right color. Getting lip limbos. Getting limbo by ColourPop to apply my lips. Oh, I ordered a wig last night from Sam's Beauty. Uh, I ordered Penny. Hopefully it comes before Saturday because Saturday I'm going to like a little birthday party. So I'm so over this wig now. I've like overgrown it. I'm like, it's just whatever to me. I just work because I'm like, I took my weave out. So it's, it's wig season anyway. And my bundles that I use for that weave, I'm going to pretty much be making a wig out of them. I'm going to take a make next. Hope that you liked, like this get ready with me. Um, I think this is cute. I feel like it's not a lot, but it's, it's something, you know. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.